In this lecture, we'll see how to install IntelliJ and configure it for Kotlin. So, first thing, you need to visit this website, jetbrains.com slash idea. Click on download button and uh, you'll be taken to the download page here. You have two versions for Windows and uh, we'll be going with the community version, which has got the support for Kotlin, as you can see over here, Java Kotlin Groovy Scalar. Now, clicking on download over here and uh, you're not required to provide this information or subscribe to it. You can simply go ahead and download this. As you can see, it's 367 MB, so it will take a bit of time to download. And uh, once it gets downloaded, we can simply click on it and install it. Once it's downloaded, just click on it. And then you can click on Next. And here you can choose the directory where you want to install it. Click Next. And here you can create shortcuts as well for 64-bit as well as for 32-bit. And we can also have associations created for Kotlin. And uh, you can then click on Next and click Install. Here the installation has begun and uh, soon it will complete as well. Once it gets installed, you can simply select this one, Run IntelliJ IA Community Edition, click on Finish. And here you can click on OK. You just have to accept the terms and conditions and then click OK over here. You can select any of the themes that are available. Let's go with the default one. Click next to default plugins. Click next again and click here which says start using IntelliJ IDEA. You can click on create new project and here there are two options actually available. You can see Java with Kotlin JVM and then we have Kotlin itself which says Kotlin JVM, Java script and multi-platform which is an experimental mode as of now. Let's go ahead and select Java and say Kotlin JVM. Here you need to have SDK defined. So what we can do is choose where our JDK is installed. So you click New and in C Program Files Java. We have JDK. We'll select JDK 1.8 and select OK. And here you can see the project SDK is now selected and the library Kotlin Java runtime is also selected by default and uh, we just need to click next now and here we can give our project a name so here we have our Kotlin IntelliJ directory created click OK and this is the name of our project click finish now and you can close this tip just zoom it a bit so here we have our project now. These are the libraries and here's our SRC directory. And these are the external libraries, the JDK and Kotlin Java runtime. And here you can add a new Kotlin file and give it a name. Let's call it as hello world. And here it's created now. And here you can see that we have created a hello world.kt file, created this function main, which contains the argument variable of type array of strings then we have the sprint ln hello world and when we executed or ran it from the run menu you can select run you can see that this is the output coming up hello world you can also explore the kotlin read evaluate program loop option by going to tools kotlin and then selecting kotlin repl so here you can actually do all sort of things that Kotlin provides you like so I can declare a string over here I'll run it you'll see the output coming over here as you can see it says control plus enter to execute so I'll be saying 1 plus 2 and let's press control and enter so here it will evaluate to 3 and similarly I can do other stuff like hello then concatenate it with another string world and then again press control enter and there you go so all these kind of things you can do in Kotlin REPL using IntelliJ IDEA IDE so that was how to work with Kotlin using IntelliJ IDEA